The Pakistani High Commissioner Abdul Basit has been summoned again by the Ministry of External Affairs. The MEA has confronted Pakistan with proof on Uri terror attack. Remember this summoning coming just days after he had been summoned and in fact uh, given the proof that India had found the GPS, the grenades, the Pakistani markings on the food that was carried by the Uri terrorists. All of this information had been shared by India to the Pakistani envoy. S. J. Shankar, India's Foreign Secretary has summoned Abdul Basit, the Pakistani envoy. And in fact, uh, we have been told uh, uh, S.J. Shankar has informed Abdul Basit about the two guys who helped infiltration and were apprehended by the local villagers and are currently in custody. After the interrogation, the details of the two guys has been also unearthed. One, of course, is Fezal Hussain Awan, who is 20 years old from Jahangir, Uta Jahangir area of Muzaffarabad. And in fact, the second uh, uh, guide is Yasin Khurshid, a 19-year-old uh, son of Mohammed Kurshid from Khilana Kala area of Muzaffarabad. Also, the preliminary okay. investigation revealed the identity of the slain terrorist uh, attackers as a Hafiz Said, uh, Hafiz Said Ahmad, and also the handlers uh, are Mohammed Kabir Awan and Pashar. Now, Foreign Secretary has categorically told Abdul Basit that the continuing cross border terrorism and terrorist attacks, specifically in Jammu and Kashmir from Pakistan, again, are against India and are completely accept, unacceptable. So at this moment, the diplomatic offensive continuing and top diplomats in the Indian government are telling times now that the Indus Water Treaty and the most favoured nation is just the beginning, the mm. preliminary step, and there could be a more aggressive steps by the Indian government if there is no uh, intent shown by the Pakistani government to crush terror.